Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your Scorpio love reading uh, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, everything you could possibly need is in the description box below. Recommended readers, decks used, my TikTok. Um, I, there's a whole list in the description box of everything that I give away. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section, okay? Um, click that notification bell. I do go live on this channel uh, to do personal readings. Um, readings can be vice versa so flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way works for you and these are general so if it doesn't resonate scorpio it's just not for you okay so let's see what we have here please spirit tell me about scorpio sun moon rising and venus tell me about scorpio please okay we have the hermit virgo energy we've got the six of swords We have the Four of Swords. We've got the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and we've got the World card. So Scorpio, there's an ending that's taking place here. Something here is over, but I feel like with that King of Swords energy, someone's pushing against the grain. Like, I don't want it to be over. I feel like what's happening here is someone is turning to casual sex to try to heal and gain some peace on the situation instead of doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is doing that soul searching, healing, and moving on, okay? Tell me about Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio, please. The Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in the reverse. I feel like someone here is not making any decisions because they're expecting a new start to happen here. They're expecting, um, they're expecting reconciliation or they're expecting an apology, Yes, yeah, see, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, you could be married to this person, Scorpio, or it could be that Scorpio, you're expecting this person to come back with an apology and for it to lead to forever, okay? And again, look, Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I feel like that's what the expectation is. Do you understand? So what, what's happening here is instead of accepting the ending, we're just turning to casual sex to try to relax a little bit while we wait for this person to come back. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and we've got the Page of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Yeah, someone's waiting for that message of, hey, let's have forever together. Tell me about Scorpio. Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. I love you too and I don't want to lose you. Yeah, someone, uh, Scorpio, I feel like you have a lot of hope that something's going to work out here. Aquarian energy. There's a lot of hope here that reconciliation is going to take place. The marriage is going to be saved. Um, you know, the children are going to have a home or that this is going to lead to marriage. Someone here has a lot of hope. They have a lot of hope that this is going to come together again. I don't feel like this is going to come together again. I feel like someone's trying to avoid an ending. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Fool card. Someone here, should, Scorpio, you should be focused about on moving on. Tell me about the Hermit and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're, yeah, see, I, I feel like, Scorpio, you're lying to yourself here. You're lying to yourself. Yeah, you're lying to yourself. You're saying, yeah, no, I'm not going to move on because what if they come back? I'm not going to move on because what if they come back? What if they want me back? You know, you should be focusing on, on noticing that this is toxic and that it's not for you. Okay. But instead, you know, you don't want to face your feelings here. You're trying to just keep, you're trying to stay numb, I think. You just don't want to face your feelings. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You're waiting on this apology or on this communication. Ten of Cups and the Lover's Card. Yeah, you're you're waiting on this. The problem is here, Scorpio, there's a very uh, Okay, I feel like two things here with that lover's card. 
I feel like, you know, you feel like there's a strong soul tie between you and this person. So you're just turning to temptation until that apology comes around. Or Scorpio, something here that you're not willing to acknowledge is that your person may be ghosting you or may not want this because they are turning to temptation. You're over here waiting for an apology and this person may already be seeing someone else. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Star card and temperance yeah you're you're just waiting for this healing to happen you're waiting for this healing to happen you know there's been hurt there's been pain here but you're waiting to work it out you're waiting to work it out i feel like you know you you should be walking away but instead you're looking back you have to stop looking back here scorpio you have to stop looking back is this connection over, please? Is there any hope for reconciliation? We've got the Four of Wands. There's a lot of really strong marriage cards here, Scorpio. So for a lot of you, you may be married to this person or you were engaged to be married. Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. Do we see reconciliation here? The Moon card. Yeah, I feel like someone here is secretly overwhelmed waiting for this apology. Okay, waiting for this apology. Do we see this apology coming? We've got the devil, Capricorn energy, and the king of wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the ten of swords. I, I'm sorry, Scorpio. I feel like someone here is very much in their ego right now, non-committal, maybe talking to other people, angry, rage, just, you know, with that devil card, king of wands in the reverse, that's a whole lot of ugly here, Scorpio. That is a whole lot of ugly. With the Ten of Swords, according to this person, it's done. It's done. You're sitting here suffering, trying to manifest a dream. You know, you're trying to manifest something here. You, you know, this person is just all over the place. Tell me about Scorpio, please, Spirit. We've got freedom. Tell me about Scorpio. We've got the energy is gaining momentum. We've got loss. Yeah, I, you know, Scorpio, I feel like you're about to have an emotional breakdown. You're starting to really realize that this, this situation is gone and that you need to free yourself, okay? We have cleaned it up. You know, I, I feel like you're emotionally a mess here and you're just having to come to terms with what's happening. The world card and the world card. Look at that. You know, this is just the cycle of your life that's ending and I feel like you're just fighting against the grain, not wanting to accept it. We've got revenge, eye for an eye, and wants justice. You may get angry, okay? Traditional home, happy family times, love, harmony, and peace. You may want your family back. You may want to keep your family together. You may want to keep your marriage together. You may not agree with getting a divorce, and it may make you angry, okay? It may make you angry. Um, we've got incubus or succubus spirit. And we've got, I have money, but I'm still lonely. <sighs> we've got the devil and the king of wands here, okay? I don't know. I feel like, you know, Scorpio, you may have someone that has, I, I don't know. Let's see here. Scorpio, this could be you where you have money, but you're still lonely. I feel I do not deserve you. Hmm. I want to control you. That's interesting. Okay, so first of all, I feel like these are random messages, Scorpio. Uh, someone here, first of all, is, might be dealing with an incubus or a succubus spirit. And that's basically uh, like a demon that is in love with you. Okay, so you may you may feel like something's trying to touch you at night. I know that sounds funny, but it's actually a very real thing. Um, someone here may have money, but they're still very lonely. Someone here feels undeserving or unworthy of love. And we have someone that wants to control a situation. They want to be in control and they're not in control. 
Okay, I feel like those are just random messages. We've got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I mean, I can't even... There's really nothing else to say. We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have new love. A new romantic person... Uh, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So that may make a little bit of sense here, Scorpio, because you may feel like you're undeserving of new love because your heart is somewhere else right now. Okay? Okay. but there is someone new coming into your life so let it go let it go okay all right guys i love you so very much and i'll see you soon